In this video, I'm gonna show you five DJ settings that you need to change now on Surround or Xbox DJ because the default settings there kinda suck. So the first thing to change are your latency settings. This basically controls the responsiveness of your software. So the more responsive and tight your latency settings are, the more stress you'll put on your computer. So finding the right balance is the key here. But luckily for you, I've already found it. So to change your latency settings on Serato DJ, go to Settings, click on Audio, and bring the USB buffer size tab to 5ms. And on Recordbox DJ, go to Settings, click on the Audio tab, locate the buffer size area, and bring the buffer size tab to 5.3ms. The next thing to change are your vinyl break settings. This controls the stopping speed of the track. So by default, they work like this. But we want to get it to sound like this. This setting for me just sounds better and makes stopping a track sound more interesting. So to get that setting on Serato, from the settings menu, go to DJ Preferences, locate Breaking, and bring the stop time knob to the 9 o'clock position. And on Recordbox DJ, from the settings menu, go to the controller tab, locate vinyl speed adjust, and bring the touch slash break knobs of decks 1, 3, and 2, 4 to the 1 o'clock position. Now if you want to scratch, the third setting change is for you. But if you don't, skip to the fourth setting change. Anyway, when you scratch, you want to have the crossfader to be at its sharpest setting. By default, it's smooth and will cause your scratching to sound like this. Did you notice how the volume changes? Well, we don't want that. We want to cut the sound so we can do stuff like this. So to get that setting on Serato, from the settings menu, go to Mixer, locate Cross Fader, and bring the curve knob all the way to the right side. And on Recordbox DJ, from the settings menu, from the controller tab, click on the Mixer sub tab, locate the Cross Fader curve section, and bring the knob all the way to the right side. Now let's adjust our cue point settings. The thing is, both softwares work differently in terms of cue points. So you can think of this part as specific cue point changes to specific softwares. Let's start with Serato. Now not all songs start where you want them to start. Some have long intros, and some just have parts that you don't care about. So I've adjusted my Serato to load to the first cue point of every song. This setting skips scrolling and going to the section where I need the track to be, and though you can just press a cue point and get there, this setting just skips that step entirely. So to get this on Serato DJ, from the settings menu, go to DJ Preferences, locate on Song Load, and tick Play from first cue point. Now let's adjust our hot cue settings on Recordbox DJ. By default, this is what happens if you trigger a cue point when a track is not playing. I find this default setting to be not useful at all, and instead, we want this to happen. So to get this setting on Recordbox DJ, from the controller tab, click the deck sub tab, then locate hot cue, then tick during pause, gate playback is applied. And finally, let's adjust the visual layout of our software. So let's first work on Serato. So by default, this is how it naturally looks like. Now this feels too crapped up for me, and I would rather mushy the track's waveforms in horizontal form. So to get just that, click on this icon here, and click Extended. Another thing worth adding in Serato's layout is a feature to use beat jump controls. This enables you to either move forward or backward in number of beats in a song. So to enable that on Serato DJ, on the settings menu, locate Control Preferences and take Show Beat Jump Controls. 
and now you can do this. And lastly, let's move on to adjusting the visual layout of Rekordbox DJ. So by default, this is how it naturally looks like. I personally don't like the color and look of the waveforms, so let's change it. So go to settings, and on the view tab, locate the waveform section. And on the color subsection, tick RGB. And on the full slash preview waveform subsection, tick half waveform. And now your software layout will look like this. And you've made it to the end of the video and I hope you apply all these settings. I'm sure these changes will aid you in your DJ journey. Anyway, the question of the day is, what software do you use and why? Let me know in the comment section down below or right over here and I'll see you all in the next one.